Okay, I'm going to try my best to explain what I do for my double diapering method. Um, hopefully, I'll try to keep his friendly parts out of the video so that um, that the video won't get taken down by uh, the administrators of the support group. So, here is the spray that I use. It's called Touchless Care Zinc Oxide Protectant Spray. Desitin does have zinc oxide in it, but I just come to find out with... Um, with my son, now everybody, some people it works for them, but um, anyways, for my son, it doesn't work. Um, yeah, sometimes it actually, for him, it makes it worse. I don't know. Maybe there's another ingredient that he's allergic to. Um, I did the double diapering method, went back to the bag, and had to go back to the double diapering method because it was just, the adhesive was breaking his skin down. It was just way too much. Um, on top of the fact that this is easier especially easier for my husband to change his diaper. So I'm gonna get started and try to help um, you and help those who might need help with this method. Um, so first I do use, his tummy has gotten a little bigger. So I use size three diaper on the regular part and a size three diaper over his belly. So this part I cut in half just so he's not hot. And the piece that I cut off is the the flat part, the tab part. Excuse my gloves. They usually fit this size. I accidentally got too, too big. Um, and you might see my son's legs kick up um, in this video. He does have a leg deformity. So just for anybody who's um, wondering about that. on and off the light. Kennedy, I need that light, please. Thank you. Oh, and then I have my wipes out already. You have to shake this stuff really well. Hopefully, um, the thing isn't blocking the sound and everyone can hear. So, let me take these gloves off just for this one. Okay. So, I'll wipe all around the stoma area. Let me lean this in a little bit more. I'll wipe around the stoma. And the white stuff you see is the actual um, spray. And the light keeps going on and off because my lovely daughter keeps turning on. The, we're supposed to have a slumber party tonight, but I just wanted to get on and show you this. So she's crying for my attention. Okay. So... Watch your feet, Papa. I do dab the stone a little bit. Um, so I just kind of want to show what his sight area looks like. Did I get it in there? I'm trying not to show his friendly parts. So this is his sight. There we go. That's a better view. But if, as you can see, his, his area is... Um, Bless you, Papa. His area is very smooth. There's no rash or anything around his stoma area. And that, I'm telling you, that is all due to this fabulous spray that I got in the hospital. I grabbed several bottles of this. And I'm running out. Um, so, let me continue. Uh-oh, hold on. Make sure that it's not showing. And this is really simple so keep in mind that I um, might be on the struggle bus because I have I'm trying to record the video so I'll take the regular diaper I put it on oh sorry hopefully they don't delete it for that I put it on the bottom and 
And then I take the spray, a shake. It also has a locking mechanism, so if you have any toddlers that figure out how to get into stuff, make sure you lock it. Wait, hold on. Oh yeah, it's unlocked. You spray around the stoma. Uh-oh, hold on guys. I'm just trying to do this with, you spray it around the stoma. Um, once that's done, again, I am just struggling because I'm trying to do this and record at the same time. So once that's done, you spray it around the stoma. Um, I like to rub it around as well, just to make sure that it's, you know, rubbed into his skin. I do notice that if I don't rub it in, um, when I go to change his diaper, if you can see in the beginning of the video, the white stuff was there. When I go to change his diaper, if I don't rub it in, then it's not, it's not caked on as much, but I like to rub it in to make sure that it's working properly. So my next step, let me see if I can turn this camera around. My next step, I lay, uh-oh, somebody had a little spit up. I lay this over the stoma, just like so, with the curved part going down, if that makes any sense, where, it, where I actually cut it. Let me get you my next step. I'm going to try to re-record this. As soon as I find my um, camera stand. Once that's done, I put the regular diaper. I just pull it up as if, hi! <laughs> I pull it up as if it's a regular uh, diaper change on a typical baby. And I just secure the flaps. I just secure the flap like so and if you can see I try to make sure that the outside diaper the outside diaper comes up to meet the diaper that was laid across so just to show you real quick remember I cut the back off so I laid the diaper this way on here kind of tuck it in the side and then bring the flaps I hope this helps. Let me wipe his spit up. And twin brother just lost his uh, lost his bottle, so he's losing his mind a little bit. So I hope that helps. Um, there's another cream that works. There we go. Okay, there's another cream that I got from the hospital as well that works. Um, I have not found this one online, but I haven't really looked for it because, um, the, the spray just works so well. And this works on twin brother. Um, since he doesn't have IA, I just put this on his bum and it works wonders. It keeps him from having a diaper rash. You can get this one or, um, this one. Same thing. It's just the purple one, I believe has a, like a minty scent yeah purple has a minty scent the green tube doesn't smell at all no doesn't smell at all so i hope this helped i know this is a, a little bit of a lengthy video um if you could not hear me let me know i'm gonna try to re-record it when he goes to the bathroom um again and then i do want to show Um, where did it go? Here we go. So this is what it looks like. The diaper is just like him pooping out of his bum. Um, the diaper soaks it all up and don't be afraid about the blood because that's going to happen in the bag with the diaper or anything like that. Okay. I'm going to let you guys go because this video is already 10 minutes long.